Hi, uh, in this episode we're just going to talk about a bit about pl planting seeds because we've just been waiting for Frank to rotivate the allotment and we gather it's almost ready to start on but uh, it's March so we don't want to uh, waste time because we're heading into prime growing season now and but Linda and I've started planting our plants our should I say we start planting our seeds so uh, just a quick run through what I've planted here myself here uh, this week and also then I'm going to follow up with a short video of photographs that Linda took at a recent talk she went to uh, in Airfield in the estate in South Dublin where they're doing amazing things growing vegetables organically but doing it perfectly so I don't think our allotment will come anywhere near the standards that, that uh, uh, Airfield have but sure look at we we'll, we live in hope in the meantime here's a quick look at some of the seeds I've grown uh, here at home and started and hopefully some of them at least will get up to the allotment in the coming months okay here's some of the seeds and as you can see we're doing two things one we are recycling as much as possible um, I'm using plastic that's already in my kitchen and stuff and trying to avoid uh, gathering any more plastic but uh, recycling as much as possible the plastic we have and here goes so that's one is kale as you can see it's actually just come up um that's artichoke i've never grown artichoke before so this is a green globe so i'm going to give that a try hopefully that'll work too um what are we here let me just turn it around here yeah runner beans i have two runner beans runner bean plants here going a uh, saxa which is quite a small one i grew it last year um, now my tomatoes ildi is a very um prolific small yellow pear-shaped cherry tomato which I'll grow here at home in uh, Monkstown and this is another tomato it's called black cherry and I call it Cormac's black cherry because in fact I gave those seeds to my friend Cormac and he came back with seeds and of uh, the, the actual tomato and we're growing we're just growing the tomato seeds so we're going to give that a try there's uh, courgettes going in there more courgettes we're going to have a lot of courgettes this year guys and um, there's my favorite uh, cherry tomatoes I'm growing called sun gold which is really super very sweet easy to grow and there's more sun gold and more sun gold so that's just some of the selection of seeds I have growing here at home as you can see they're on my windowsill in the front of my house which is warm in the morning and there's a radiator there right beside it so I found it to be a good spot I don't have a greenhouse a full greenhouse I don't have uh, all those highfalutin, um, you know, uh, propagator things or anything like that. As much as possible, I try to keep the costs as low as possible on what's growing and then also to, um, to use what I already have, which I think is one of the principles of our, um, of our growing methods, Linda and I. So here now is um, a few photographs from Linda's uh, day when she went to see Kitty Scully, telling her all about how to grow uh, vegetables in Airfield.